All right, now I want to show you how to make the, the lid and how you make this section here, which fits tightly in there to stop the lid from falling off. So that's the next demonstration. You need to get a piece of wood, which is already cut to the correct width, place that onto there, mark that off on one edge, and then you need to cut that on the fret saw at the side. And that's the end of that little demonstration. Okay, we clearly need to get this glued onto here. So ultimately we're gonna put PVA glue uh, in a small mount underneath that, but we need to make sure that there's an equal distance all the way around the edge of that. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can either take a ruler and actually mark 12 millimeters from the edge and use your tri-square to mark along those edges, or there's a quick cheat which is where you use your pencil uh, Angelica you might need to zoom in a little bit for this or move closer uh, you just need to use your finger and the pencil to position the pencil about the right place and my fingers there and then once that's in position then you take that and just transfer that by running your finger along the edge of the wood notice my finger and the pencil in the same position and then that allows you something to line up with. So all we'd need to do then, I'm not gonna glue this one on because Suresh needs to reduce the size of it slightly. You just put a small amount of glue on there, about that amount. You would then place that on there and then clamp that into the vise. And that's the end of that demonstration. All right, the next stage is to show you how to neatly uh, attach or glue this wallpaper or possibly even a magazine cutting or other finishes onto the end of your box. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the end of the box first. So we place the box onto this wallpaper, draw around that, on all four sides. Then you can remove the box. We now need to have some areas, that will, some flaps that will overlap. So I'm gonna just put the ruler, and again, if you could just zoom in for this, just put the, the ruler 45 degrees across the corner like that. The same across this corner here. And do the same on those corners. If someone could just grab me a pair of scissors out of the cupboard, we'll show you, that'd be great. And then we need to just do a flap. The flap wants to be about a centimetre and a half, maybe two centimetres on each edge. Just enough to fold around, really. So it doesn't have to be an accurate measurement. Just an approximate. And then we're going to cut this out. Obviously you're going to take a little bit of care over this when you do it. I'm just going to do a little bit faster for the demonstration. And then we're going to get a small amount of glue um, onto the end of the box. Now, it's important here that you don't get loads of glue on. You want just enough to cover the whole surface properly, but you want it so that the glue is not slippy, but tacky. If you have it slippy, it takes ages to dry. So that's almost wiped it off, but it's actually quite tacky on there. So what I do now is take that surface and place that as neatly as I can onto the piece of wallpaper, making sure that it's meeting up at each corner. Press down firmly 
And then I need to just put a small amount of glue. Again, not too much. Onto each of these surfaces. And you want to just remove it if it's a bit too, too slippy, as I said before. And you do that on all four sides. You then just very carefully <coughs> lift that up. Now that side actually I'll put quite a bit of glue on, so it might be a bit slower sticking. This side should go on fairly quickly. He said it's hoping. And you do that on each side. If you need to actually fold it over inside, you can actually put a bit of extra glue on there and glue that in place. You might need to just hold it for a little bit until that sets. And then clearly you do that on all sides. When you come to do these sides here, you only put a flap at the top. Draw a flap on at the top and at the bottom and don't put a flap on on this edge because you don't want to have that flap showing around the edge because it won't be very attractive. So you'll notice on this one here, on this box, that it actually just ends there. There is no flap. There was a flap on the one that was done on the end but not on the one at the front and that's the end of that demonstration.